Hey guys, do subscribe my channel if you like it. Your subscription really motivates me a lot. Hello everyone, welcome back to Doodoo the TV. Today we are going to review Studio Series number 35 Jetfire. Let's check out the box art. You have a Jetfire visual here, number 35 Studio Series Jetfire from Transformer Revenge of the Fallen. And you can check out the side box, you have a visuals of Jetfire and an Autobot logo here. Okay, you can you have a super accurate screen accurate Jetfire and his alt mode. And you have Megatron 34 Megatron from the uh, I'm not sure which one I forgot. Already. So here you have number five. So that's it, and let's check out his alt mode. It is huge but not as huge as 2009 Jetfire. So you can have a look at his jet mode front view and you can see it's very clean and nicely molded together and I'm not sure what is this dot for and you have some silver paint on the windshield and you have a little bit of paint job here written some uh, some I think some text or something, I can't read it from this angle. And you have a rubble tip here. And then here beside here, you have the wings. It's not foldable, but this one as well. So you have a skunk um, icon 17972 uh, numbers. And then this is the back of it, back view. You have two thrusters. And overall, it's pretty, uh, pretty light. And but it looks small in the chat mode it just fit my screen but uh, when you transform it it looks huge in uh, robot mode the, the chat mode is uh, really sleek so they can't hide much from you only can cover it from the top part and as for the side still okay until you reach here to the front you can see his old man with all the beard faces here yeah like oh i need some water no so you just put it back so let's turn to the bottom part okay now you can see both of the hand it's here and then this is his feet and all the details are nicely sculpted here and this round they have lots of uh, beautiful colors and then you have this uh, his axe all his weapons is able to store and this is the axe uh, I think we've been waited for quite some times in the movie of uh, Revenge of the Fallen let's compare it with 2009 um, Jetfire, leader class Jetfire. It is super huge from 2009, right? You can obviously see the difference. Okay, it is more like a Voyager class to me and this is the leader class. And if you compare this, this is much more accurate to fit the studio series size in terms of jet and also the size they're given in 2009 and a lot of nice printed uh, uh, stickers here a uh, printed uh, logos and here you have a Decepticon scratch off logos and from jet mode I still really love the uh, 2009 one but in terms of like uh, robot design definitely the studio series uh, beats the uh, the old one the size comparison it's like so small what do you think leave your comment below and share with me what do you think you see oh my god is it inflation and I got this for like a, I think like $45 and now this one is like $60 yeah $40 $60 size so share with me your comment, what do you think about this? Let's transform it into robot mode. First, remove the, uh, the X. So basically, to remove this, uh, this two pack, later this will be like combined with the Optimus Prime Studio Series 32. And to remove this uh, front wheel, after that, to unpack this, uh, both leg like so okay and you untap the uh, upper part here like so 
okay leave it this way and then release this two panel left and right okay leave it like that then you bring it forward unfold the arms like so unpack this two pack here this one and the right one unpack it move it up work like that you just leave it this way okay there's a lot of works to do so this part you need to like a zigzag you just need to flip it like that apply a little bit of force and you untap his back wing like so form his uh, back wing small panel wings and then you flip it down like so after this you unfold the uh, jet front and then you flip one more round again rotate it clip and then it's a lot of uh, effort to do it so you move into the back part and then you just combine all together you just feel the uh, crunch <laughs> okay that's all okay now a lot of movement involved okay almost there stay with me so flip this two of his waist down like so and move the leg to the side and you clip together okay now you have an upper body part completed and you later you're gonna adjust based on what kind of angles you want it okay Flip the head down, move his beard out of his way. Now you have the upper body done. You just need to move the leg both split this way. It's like he's sitting like that. Okay, almost done, almost there. So you need to unpack the feet to this level. And then unpack this side wing panel, move it out. a little bit tight move it down like so flip it out so it's like a movement double joint hinge so you rotate the tight to this angle and then here there's a pack here unpack it and almost there you have the his chicken feet okay and you rotate this down and here there's a hinge flip it this way and open make it flat don't forget to move its toe tip out to form its feet flat okay now you can crunch everything like this so like a chicken feet same goes to the other leg okay Unpack this here. Unpack the side wings, double hinge joint, and then rotate it to the front like so. Let the silver part facing you, and then unpack it. There's a clip in between, and flip it down. You have the uh, ratchet joint, that's great. And move this feet front here, flatten it, flip out the tip, and then you rotate here. That's a hinge here, see? And you move it, crunch it, and form a chicken leg for jet fire. And now, almost done okay you have it in 
robot mode jet fire you just need to adjust here and there this one the part this shoulder tip go into here you can't see much so I just need to adjust it a little bit back yeah. Yeah. move it in and clip it together Adjust it a little bit, move right up to here, and then clip it in. And adjust it a little bit here, the arms to the front, okay. like so. As for this two rubble tip, you have a pack here plug into this area like so same goes to the other side like so and adjust a little bit here and there and you almost have your jet fire done complete in his robot mode Jet fire in his robot mode. Check out this beauty. It's super screen accurate, although the size is really small in jet mode. But when you transform it into robot mode, it looks perfectly fine. And I have nothing much to complain. Um, you have a lot of uh, a weathering here and then some golden paint job and a lot of a uh, detailed you know sculpted over here and there and I can say it's pretty much 9 over 10 in terms of the, the screen accurate looks of it and you can try to put on his uh, weapon of the uh, wheel just now and then plug it in to his arms here you have a pack for both arms so it looks like he's like holding the uh, I don't know how you should walk it this way yeah right yeah and then his um his axe you can plug it in in both hand okay just like so so let's do a 360 degrees Seriously, really accurate, right? You don't need to remove any panel or anything. Everything just fit in perfectly. So let's check out his detail. So you can see his face. It's 10 out of 10, I give it. The head movement can go up and down to this level. And a little bit of left and right, but you can't rotate it. So. Uh, the whisker got some a little bit of movement as for the arms you can move up and down shoulder and rotate is actually 360 but uh, you know you just got blocked by the, all this panel so hand can fold until 90 degrees and then the arms can rotate very tight joints can move up to this level and there's no waist rotation due to the transformation. I'm fine with it. And the feet, it's in ratchet. Rotate up and down anywhere you want because transformation. So here you have the uh, anchor movement and then you have tight rotation. Can allow you to do different poses. It's quite possible. And then you have an ankle pivot point here so whenever you want to make a big huge split you can have a wider range of uh, leg split like that like so so i seriously love all this detail um, i don't think so you need any more uh, you know paint job applications and other things so this is worth of money uh, although yeah, it's expensive but I think this is what we have waited for like more than 10 years. Finally, they roll out the uh, 
here, more accurate jet fires. Uh, so I can't wait to combine it with Optimus Prime. As you know, Studio Series always give a nice backdrop after you transform your Transformer figures and Jetfire comes with a scene in Revenge of the Fallen Desert scene. You can display him just nicely fit in the scene. And let's compare it with 2009 Jetfire. Okay, in terms of size, definitely the new one is very slightly smaller, but accuracy 10 over 10 for the new one. And I'm not sure why last time I'm so happy that I got the Jetfire in this mode, but now after I got the new Studio Series Jetfire, I totally fall in love with it. Totally. Okay. You can see the feet for the old one. It's on uh, the ankle. There's no pivot point, and however, this one you can you have a wide range of uh, movement, so you can uh, nicely fit it on the ground, so it stands steadily. That's what you can see. So as for the size, uh, this is so huge, but the head is so tiny, probably due to the uh, um, the sound and light mechanism that uh, they gave. So I didn't put a battery in. So the new one they don't have. So they, but however they provide more accurate um, movie uh, screen accurate figures. Let's do a rotation comparison. Let's see, more accurate 9 over 9, 9 over 10. Exactly like this is well transformed and this is halfway transformed from the back. 10 years, there's lots of improvement of these figures. So I, I'm not regretting keeping both of this. So if you still have this, it's good for you. And if you really like this one, better take it because Definitely everyone is rushing to grab this. So do leave your comment below and tell me which is your favorite Jetfire. The 2009 Jetfire or the new 2019 Jetfire. And remember to subscribe my channel to check out the next Optimus Prime combined with Jetfire video. Stay tuned for more.